Merhaba, welcome everyone to Istanbul in Turkey for IDEF 2023, the large defense exhibition here held in Istanbul. I'm really glad that we are joined once again for the second time this year by Typhoon Osberg, our Turkish-based correspondent. Typhoon, well, it's so great to see you again. Uh, likewise, Xavier, it's nice to see you here in Turkey. Uh, it will be a very busy show. The, the event is huge. Uh, there are, I believe, uh, something like 11 or 12 halls. Uh, everybody will be very busy on this first day, so we are just uh, going to walk around the floor and uh, we'll try to focus on uh, Metexan as well as STM and cover some weapon systems with Metexan and the uh, latest uh, developments of uh, ship designs with uh, STM. Let's go inside. Let's go. There are lots of things to do, lots of things to see. We are in the booth of uh, Rocket Sun, the main uh, developer and producer of uh, missile systems in Turkey. And uh, with Typhoon here, we are going to give you a brief overview of uh, some of their latest uh, anti-surface, anti-ship, as well as surface-to-air missile systems. So to start with is the uh, Atmaja, the latest anti-ship missile by uh, Rocket Sun. Typhoon, what can you tell us? Yes, Atmaja will be the backbone of the Turkish Navy. It, it gained initial operational capability last year and it, it's going to be used on Turkish naval assets and it will replace aging Harpoon and Thai ship missiles and it will be the main missiles of the Turkish frigates and corvettes. All right. So next to it, so this is not the, the only anti-ship missile being showcased by Rocket Sun. This is Chakır. Uh, it's still under development and Rocket Sun uh, conducted the first test fire this year and this will be fitted on smaller assets like fast attacking crafts and U armed USVs, UAVs and helicopters. Uh, it will it will have a wide wide range of uh, launching platforms. This is some cruise missile uh, developed by Rocket Sun and Tubitak Sage and it's still under development. It will be launched from uh, jets and also it will be launched from Akinji drones. It will have an operational range exceeding 250 kilometers and it, we, it will be very effective in surface warfare. And Akinji is the unmanned uh, fighter jet uh, currently yes, in yes, development. Akinji is a, is a large uh, armed drone produced by Baikar, currently in service with Turkish Air Force. Rocket Sun in, uh, is not only producing uh, missile systems, as you can see, they're also showcasing uh, torpedoes. So they found this is a heavy, new heavyweight torpedo. What's yes. his name and what is the current status? Its name is Akia, Akia Heavyweight Torpedo. This will be the main weapon of the race class submarines, air independent propulsion submarines. And uh, it will replace the current uh, uh, foreign uh, torpedoes. Rocket Sun is also showcasing surface to air missile systems. So this is the ESR family, short range, medium range and long range. The medium range and long range come in a naval variant. So you see they come in a different size. The long range one, of course, has a booster to increase the range. The Turkish company is also showcasing their midless uh, vertical launch system. So to learn more about this, because I don't know anything about it, is uh, Typhoon. Yes, this is midless uh, indigenous vertical launching system developed by Rocket Sun. And it's currently fitted to I-Class frigates and it's very near to init uh, achieve initial operational capability. It is capable to uh, launch the naval version of Hissal air defense missiles and ESSM missiles as well. You see the, it's also compatible to launch quad pack missiles. And so the quad pack is ESSM? Yes, quad pack is ESSM, not HISA. And it will be Turkish Navy's primary vertical launch system at the forthcoming projects. So Istanbul class? Yes, Istanbul class is fitted with a 16 cell of Midlas. And TF-2000 destroyers will have this system as well? Yes, it's, it's expected expected to be fitted to TF-2000, but uh, it's not announced yet. Let's go cover a new system now on display okay. on the show floor. Last but not least, Typhoon, this uh, big system is a ram-like uh, launcher of surface-to-air missiles, and uh, there's currently a competition for the Turkish Navy about this. 
Yes, this is Rocket Sun Levant point defense missile system. It will be used as a closing weapon system at the forthcoming naval projects. This is not a mock-up. This is a this is the actual uh, system and the uh, one-to-one size, and it. It has fixed phase active electron scan array radars and it will be uh, capable to mount uh, 11 missiles on board. And uh, this is the missile uh, that will be used in Levant missile system. Uh, it's an RF and RH image infrared guided missile. It has a uh, range of 11 kilometers, which is good for a closing weapon system. And uh, it's still under development with the uh, launching system. It can engage to missiles and, and uh, low altitude air threats and uh, surface targets. We are now on the booth of Turkish company STM. They are not a shipbuilder, they are a naval engineering company. They are showcasing their latest uh, projects including this uh, small submarine, Typhoon. So what is this project? This is a uh, STM-500 small submarine project. Uh, this is the first indigenous submarine project of the Turkish defense industry. This submarine uh, is a small one, but it's fitted with eight torpedoes and it can also launch missiles, encapsulated mis missiles. And it can uh, deploy it at sea uh, for a month without uh, replenishing. It will be uh, propelled by uh, lithium-ion uh, batteries, but it will have air independent propulsion uh, option. And uh, this submarine will have, as you see here, a swimmer delivery vehicle for a diver and uh, special forces operations. Detecting and engaging small submarines in littoral environment is quite challenging. So uh, this will be a good solution uh, for the countries and we are looking forward to see uh, it's operational. And we just learned that uh, they entered production for this? Yes, uh, we just learned from the officials that uh, the company uh, started to uh, manufacture the pressure hull, uh, which is the uh, most important part of a submarine and they uh, didn't mention the name of the shipyard but they are producing producing it in Turkey, it will be indigenous. And uh, we learned that STM will make a ceremony of, uh, of the, uh, marking the commencement of the uh, construction within this year. And uh, this is for the Turkish Navy, the customer? Uh, I clearly don't know, uh, it's not certain yet. But of course, as a naval analyst and enthusiast, I would like to see it operational in the Turkish Navy because uh, it will be very, very effective. And it's uh, 42 meters in length, uh, you know the displacement? Yeah, uh, yeah displacement is uh, 500, but of course it, it changes when it's surfaced or, or submerged. But uh, it must be around uh, 480 when surfaced, and the submerged uh, displacement is around 530 uh, tons. All right, thank you. STM is also showcasing uh, a scale model of their design proposal for uh, the next generation fastest aircraft of the Turkish Navy. So it's an ongoing competition. The requirement is for about uh, 10 attack craft. Uh, Typhoon, what, what can you tell us about this uh, design? This is multi-purpose attack craft by, uh, designed by STM and there it is still at the design phase. Uh, Turkish Ministry of Defense uh, sign a design agreement with STM and we are waiting for the final design for the critical design phase. This fast attack craft uh, exceeds 600 tons and it will be 66 meters long. Uh, this looks like a classical but modern uh, type of fast attacking craft. It will be fitted with uh, eight surface-to-surface -surface missiles probably will be fitted with uh, indigenous Atmaja missiles and it will also uh, armed with a point defense missile system uh, it's a ram-like system probably it will be rocket sans levant or acel sans göksur and of course it will have a, a 76 millimeter naval gun the sensor suites will include an active 
electronic scan array radar, probably a mini smaller version of Gen S ISI radar, which is used at I-class frigates, and it will be fitted with Aselsan's probably, uh, probably Aselsan's uh, electronic warfare suite, and uh, of course it will have fire control control radars uh, produced by Aselsan. Uh, and uh, Turkish Navy probably will procure, uh, will, will commission this type of uh, fast attacking craft, 10 fast attacking crafts, but we, of course we don't know the exact date yet. And this is all I can say about MPAC.